So I am coming into World of Warcraft, The War Within, with little to no information of the things that have come before Dragonflight. There have been brief stints where I've played. We did some World of Warcraft Classic into Burning Crusade into Wrath of the Lich King, but outside of those three expansions and Dragonflight, I don't really know a ton about the lore of the game. And I know with The War Within, we're getting a cast of returning characters, plus we have some bad guys and some people like, who is this lady? Like, so, yeah. Well, World of Warcraft is launching this new series of, I, I think it's a series that's coming, um, explaining things about the War Within and the lore and the backstory. So this one's called uh, Threads of Destiny. And if we look at the description text, it says, As the might of the Nerubian kingdom of Ajkahit falters, their queen excuse me, must decide the choices she's willing to make to ensure her people's survival. So let's go ahead and watch this. I'm going to go ahead and react to this and hopefully learn a little bit more about some of the characters we're going to be interacting with in The War Within. Slender Bye. is the strand that guides our destiny, known only by true sacrifice. In our kingdom of Ashkahet, no one understood this sacrifice more than Queen Neferis. My mother. Ew, she's creepy looking, man. I saw this when the Black Empire came to conscript us for their last stand at Nyalofa. The music. My mother refused them. For this treachery, your line will sever itself. This wow. kingdom will wither with the waning of your work. Her strength defined us that day. And in that moment, we felt destined for greatness. But destined in for the years greatness. That followed, our greatness was tarnished. Look at them out there. Wretched. Starving. I am not immune to our people's suffering. I believe better days will come. Not if you keep failing to seize the moment. Failing? Ooh. What was the point of you freeing our future? Only to leave us buried in the past. You comprehend so little. There is much for you to learn before you can be queen. Mother! Mother! Mother. Oh. Anzarek? Are you seeing this? You have heard my voice in your dreams. Great Queen. Oh. <laughs> the harbinger the ah. of the empire <laughs> that was. But the old gods are dead. The empire lies in ashes. And a shadow has fallen on your kingdom. But the blood of the old gods can make your people powerful again. Make your Ash people great again. Could last for eternity. All you have to do is take my hand. Your words are tempting, but the cost is too great. I would never risk my kingdom for such power. Mother, who are you talking to? Oh, daughter might. Ghosts, dearest. As always, they are my ready counsel. I'm not sorry for what I said. I only want our people to be great once more. Greatness is fleeting. What we must do now is endure. Your time will come, child, but only when you are ready. <laughs> of course, you knew it was happening. You knew it was going to happen. What? 
You done? What I must. You're not the only one seeing ghosts, mother. How sad to have a queen so wise and yet so ignorant to the uh, call of uh, destiny. Uh, you. Yeah, me. My name is Zalatath. You had your chance, mother. With this power, Ashkahet is unbound. We will rise. We will conquer. And together, we will find the claim our destiny. Long live Queen The Empire, Azrak. I mean. Okay, so essentially a devil's bargain. A devil's bargain that has been struck between the princess and the harbinger, who we at least I know a little bit of who the harbinger is based on some of the the storylines we've been running up through um, the last couple of uh, little story patches they've done um, leading up to the launch of the War Within. So I'm at least familiar uh, at passing glance with some of these characters. Um, well, how this plays into the greater history of Azeroth is something that I'm genuinely curious about because this is the beginning of the World Soul Saga, which is all about the Titans, the Titans return, um, and and going into the underworld and learning more about the empire from before and what's coming out with the harbinger and all this other stuff. Um, I'm, I'm, I, I'm intrigued because I know next to nothing about the lore surrounding some of these characters and the void and everything else. So um, consider me interested. My interest is peaked and I am looking forward to knowing more. I quite enjoy the way they've been doing these uh, lore drops with the videos. I kind of like the art style too. We saw some of this in Dragonflight where some of the cutscenes are fully animated and then some of the ones where we have this like 2D animation that has some 3D. I don't know the name for this kind of animation where we just sort of flow from one 2D image to another, but it adds an illusion of animation to things. Um, I think it's a great way to do an illusion type of uh, storytelling, not illusion illusion um alluding to an animation style at play obviously this is a little tropey but that's okay you know dark harbinger voice in the darkness mom won't listen and the daughter gets corrupted by the dark side we just saw this in star wars the acolyte as an example um the dark side is always whispering for those who are willing to listen so um i look forward to knowing more i cannot wait creepy critty creepy crawly critters spiders and more await us in the war within and the depths of the world with the earthen and beyond so stick around because we are going to be doing all the war within as it comes to us i will be starting on the 22nd because i have the epic edition pre-ordered assuming servers are up and we don't have queue times and all that other stuff and no server outages um, and of course we are on the moon guard server if you'd like to come join us you can talk to us in my discord there's a world of warcraft channel you can uh, post your interest there, and as we have slots available, uh, we will let people know, and we will be recruiting on an as-needed basis. We have a pretty good crew right now. We're rolling into raiding within the world within, starting, I believe, in early to mid-October. We're giving ourselves about six weeks to level up, get to the storyline, and for everybody to get their earth and leveled up as well. And all of that is going to be streamed and showcased here, not only on this channel, but also on Twitch. So daily streams happen at 11 a.m. Central Time in both places. There's a Patreon and a Discord and all the socials if you want to stay up to date with all the other games I play. And uh, hopefully we'll see you on Moonguard. Till the next time, everybody. Stay safe. Happy gaming. Enjoy the lore.